Hey, I'm Dre, and this is Dre Trading. What a day today. Oh, there's a big, big whopper. Um, you know, everyone kind of going crazy. Even even the normies uh, were, you know, talking about uh, the stock market today. Um, yeah, I guess uh, yesterday's uh, disappointment just, you know, went right out the window. You know, forget about that. <laughs> Unemployment or whatever. It's like, who cares? We have um, unexpected uh, jobs uh, number. Um, so I guess uh, people were figuring like um, the I guess uh, this number was all about, you know, figuring uh, how many jobs are going to have been lost, like just overall like jobs that exist in the world. Um, well, I shouldn't say in the world, in America, that um, they were figuring, I guess, what, like seven million uh, jobs were gone. It's just like jobs that used to be there um, this month are going to be gone, seven million of them. But I guess instead it was two million were created. So those seven million that they thought were going to be going away didn't go away. And in fact, two million extra ones uh, were created. So I guess the, that's the type of numbers that you know people are talking about. I think from me deducing. But um, but yeah yeah yeah. So whatever the case may be, there was going to be a big bad number, and in, instead it was uh, you know pretty nice. A uh, good number, and just the amount of the swing was uh, the thing that, like, you know, made it uh, really newsworthy. So, um, and I think, you know, uh, one of the the talking points is like, uh, were these no, were these jobs that were really gone that like came back and blah blah blah. Like people are like talking about different like talking points uh, because I know people are again kind of like grumpy. Uh, because like now I guess the uh, unemployment rate is 13 and a half or 13.3 percent and people were like um, well the, the these are only jobs because of the PPP program and whatnot and da 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 and it's just like these aren't really jobs that were gone so it's not really like these are jobs that created and stuff like that so these are like th these numbers you know are cooking the books or whatnot like it's not as good as you know they're making it out to be and you know i don't really care about that argument it's like honestly i i i'm i'm sure you know people that are very smart can figure out why what i'm about to say is wrong but in my kind of non-educated opinion yeah i guess if those jobs weren't really gone and if the impact of today's number isn't really what people are saying it was then those numbers shouldn't have been put on the books as gone in the first place it's like you know we believed this like big bad number of it going down but now you know you get a similar number going up and it's just like well if it's a lie going up it was a lie going down it's like it shouldn't have been put on the books as either or if people want to start saying it's like well they weren't really gone so we can't really give anything you know that like things are getting better because of these numbers it's like well in that case yeah okay take away these numbers you know basically whatever for today but that means that the negative numbers that, you know, were kind of put forward, you know, they, I guess, what, weren't as bad as people were going forward with? The big uh, talker was uh, the Dow. The Dow uh, was over a thousand. Um, that's like crazy uh, beginning of the coronavirus type numbers where things were like moving around a thousand points. So, that, you know, just a good job number, um, you know, moved it a thousand. And, you know, that that is kind of saying something because it would be one thing if we hadn't kind of, in most cases, rallied back from where we were. We're closer to the top of where we were when we fell than the bottom where we were. So I would understand if, like, we fell and it was, like, kind of a flat line to this point and then, like, we're starting to see recovery numbers or whatever like that and then it went up a 1,000. Now, when we hit the, the rock bottom... You know, there was plenty of days where we were going up a thousand then, um, and I guess that's that's where I would have thought thousand moves would have stopped. But whatever, the the number was good, and people were all about it. Uh, the Dow was good. The Nasdaq, you know, was uh, around two hundred. I, I say the the Dow was over a, a thousand, but I think by the end of the day, it was kind of a more a more realistic number of like up like over 700 so that's still you know phenomenal and uh, nasdaq you know near 200 you know that was great 
Uh, S and P again. Who cares? Like, I, what? I'm going to even guess a hundred. Huh. Forget you, S and P. Get out of here. I think a lot of my stuff is in the red, so I kind of like didn't really go along with it. Um, now I do, I think, have more money in the things that did go up. So, and that's really kind of like something I should mention. It's just like I kind of like you know, talk about if something's green at all. It's like, oh, I had a good day. I had a bad day. And it's just like, you know, when I have like, um, you know, uh, one of my pot stocks go up, you know, 15%, like I'm you know, all happy because it's a percentage up. Um, and then it's just like, you know, three down the line, it's like Apple. And it's just like Apple up 2%. It's just like, oh, whoop-de-doo. This one gave me 15 well, because of my investments, I have more money in Apple than I have in the pot stocks. So often the times when I'm talking about like, you know, pot stocks going up some ridiculous amount, you know, Apple going up 2% got me more money. So, I mean, I, I so I'm basically just saying kind of like to point out, you know, having, you know, a fair amount of money in things that are just going up 2% is a really good thing. And um, would it be better if I had my Apple money in the pot stocks? Yeah, it really would have. In, in the last like two weeks, yeah, it's just like when pot stocks were going up like 30%. If I had my Apple money in there, holy Moses would I have been happy. But I didn't because that would have been a very kind of stupid thing to do, you know, kind of at the time for me because you know why would i have expected the pot stocks to go up now, maybe someone out there could see the obvious writing on the wall that this was going to happen and they did that they took their money out of like amazon and apple really good things and put them into these losers and then they made a lot of money money that i'll probably never see because they make those type of risks but whatever the case may be i'm kind of just pointing this out to kind of like try to make the numbers that I'm going to say sound a little bit better than they really are when um, when I say that like something went up only a certain percent. It's just like, yeah, it's a small percent and that's not saying much. But when, you know, the money you have in there is like whatever, I don't, I, a couple thousand dollars or whatever like that. Yeah, you know, going up 2%, you know, ain't bad. But um, as far as uh, the things uh, that I got... Um, we got uh, Twitter being the best with 3.41%. Uh, um, now, I don't have a lot of money in Twitter, uh, but like I said, let's not knock the small numbers. Now that like we're getting kind of back to the world of normal small numbers reporting. Um, the big one for the day, uh, Apple. Everyone's talking about Apple. Um, now, it was only up 2.85, but I shouldn't say only. That's a good number. If you have, you know... A lot of money into it that's made you a lot of money on the day so but so that uh, went up uh, almost three uh, Tesla up 2.46 take two up 1.03 uh, then you have a loser uh, s Rosenica is 0.04 I'm not gonna mention where my mutual funds landed because it seems like they didn't report yet because they're in the red right now and that's impossible Unless I'm way better than the fund managers, which I am not. So those just are late, like reporting or whatever. Um, Canopy growth down 0.42. Aurora Cannabis down 2.04. Beyond Meat down 2.13. Green Organic down 3.23. And Tilray down 6.05. So, yeah, so I was saying a lot more downs than up. Now, like I said, a lot of those were the pot stocks and some of the oddballs, like uh, Beyond Meat. Was that one of the losers? Yeah, Beyond Meat was one of the, the losers. And AstraZeneca, like something I got recently. It's like basically all like the Hail Mary no-name things that I don't have a lot of money in, they all stunk today. But the things that, you know, are good that people actually know about and care about, um, like Apple, those were up. So it's just like even with all my losers with Apple being up only 2.85 and those other ones down lots of percentages, I think I made money on the day, especially um, if I'm not, you know, 
counting the mutual funds reporting. With the mutual funds reporting, I definitely was in the green for the day um, because I have, you know, a good chunk of money in my mutual funds. So I think, you know, a good strategy is to play around with stuff, but hedge your, you know, hedge your bets very much with mutual funds. I mean, I don't talk a lot about my mutual funds kind of because I want to have this channel be like, can I make money? Um, and because if I can make money, you can make money. Anybody can do a better job than I'm doing. And, you know, if I'm going to be betting, I've been doing a pretty good job the last couple of weeks. So anybody smarter than me can be making more money than me. Um, and there aren't uh, many people out there dumber than me. So you can be making money too. Um, now, I, I say that with like everyone's always talking about like oh the the steeper the climb the bigger the sell-off it's like yeah i know yeah that can be coming around the corner i've been how many times have i been saying that i'm extre i'm an extremely pessimistic person i'm figuring that things are going to be crashing that's why i have money on the side but it's like i've i mean i was seeing a lot of people talking with the things today where it's just like they saw the market going up and they're just like oh those fools those fools that are buying right now, it's like, just they, just you wait. And it's just like, you know what? They're going to be saying that for years if it continues to be green. And yeah, in 2030, you know, they might be super smart when the Dow drops, you know, 20,000 or something like that. And it's just like, yeah, but you know what? I'm sure it would have made more in, you know, the 10 years that you've been sitting on the sideline just saying, just you wait. So you can play around. I play around, but don't, you know, use the play around stuff to be like the thing that's going to be lasting for the future. I would say get into mutual funds. And though I'm, I'm not, you know, advocating anyone to do things because I'm not I don't want to take any blame for anyone doing anything and then losing their life savings when a week from now, you know, kind of people get back to reality and, you know, they say, hey, you know what, everything's awful. And then the stock market just tanks. But yeah, so that was uh, the day. A lot of uh, green for the day. A lot of people happy, going crazy. Uh, I was obviously I was wrong about, you know, Friday being a sell off, but I also, you know, wasn't educated enough to know that there was a jobs number uh, coming out. But, you know, would I have believed the experts that would have said 7 million jobs gone or something like that? Be, like, if, they, if that number hit, I'm sure it would have been a, a sell-off. But it was a good Friday. You know, things went up. Um, we'll see if that continues uh, next week. Um, and, like, what type of uh, news stories come out over the weekend if people start getting cold feet again. But we'll see that next week. All right.